the Mead Kildare game is is an intriguing game. Uh, I think Kildare have played good, expansive football. Uh, they blew out the way quite quickly uh, the last day in Crow Park. Uh, Mead, you know, had a very very facile win against against Carlo. Um, I think. The, therein lays the problem for, for me. They haven't been properly tested. Okay, Kildare beat Loud quite convincingly, but it was more of a game. They've had a run out in Crow Park, which is which is an advantage as well. And that might just tip the scales in, in, uh, in Kildare's favour. Uh, I watched Mead quite a few times during the league. I thought at times they looked mediocre at times, and then they actually looked quite good. I watched them beat down in the league this year, and I thought... You know, that was as good as they played. I think if they can bottle that, they're missing a few players. They've got Brian Mead back into the middle of the field, which is which is you know, which is a major plus. Uh I think if Kildare can get Dark Mulhall back fit, you know, he had a he had a very good league campaign. That's exactly what, what Kildare have been missing over this past number of years. Somebody who can consistently kick the ball over the bar. A one four, one five player, you know, every day he goes out. And uh I think he's fit. I think that tips it slightly in Kildare's favour, so I'll go for Kildare probably to win that game by a couple of points, but that's probably the game of the weekend, and that's the game that people are looking to, and I think it's going to be a ding-dong battle, because I think both teams, again, will, will go at it.